down to in this video I want to talk to you about why email isn't dead yet. Hey Dan, hope you're well. So I was just have, having a think about email really, as you do, you know, Friday afternoon, let's have a think about email. And what I was thinking about was how a lot of people kind of stop emailing people, they stop having mailing lists, they don't do newsletters anymore, uh, because who wants a newsletter really? Nobody wants a newsletter. Um, so you've got to make it worthwhile to get people on your mailing list, and obviously that's quite difficult to do, it's time consuming, it's challenging. And at the other end, you're like, well, is it really worth it? Am I going to close anybody? Is anyone going to buy from an email? And this is my answer, right? People ain't going to buy from an email, but they will buy from a selection of emails, a selection of different formats, such as YouTube and Facebook and Twitter and LinkedIn and WhatsApp even, and email. But it's not just one of those that causes the purchase, it's all of those that cause the purchase. It's not flour that makes the cake, but you can't have a cake without flour. It's not eggs that makes the cake, but you can't have a cake without eggs, I don't think. So, <laughs> I don't know anything about cakes other than eating them. But this is my point, is that email, even if it's once every 11 days, which is what we tend to send out, should still form a part of your internet marketing strategy over the next 12 months. And what people try and do is just try and go, okay, well, I'll do one a week, so now I have to write 52 emails. And they never get around to writing 52 emails because, first of all, they don't think it's going to work, so why waste that time on writing 52 emails, even though they don't know if it'll work or not. So what we actually recommend is that you don't write 52 emails, write four emails and send them out once every 90 days. That's step one. And then at least you know now you've got an email going out every quarter, so your list isn't going to completely die. Then after that, you could do another four emails, and instead of every quarter, uh, they go out in between the emails that you've already got lined up. So now, they're gonna get an email every six weeks. And then if you wanted, you could do that again, and you could do it so that now we're gonna get one every three weeks. And that's it, it's done, right? Set it on repeat, so when someone comes into your mailing list, they're now gonna get all these selection of emails. When we write a long form post, um, piece of copy on Facebook or Twitter or whatever, LinkedIn usually, we'll copy and paste that into one of our email campaigns and just addend it onto the end. We've got something like, I don't know what it is, I've lost count, 200, 250 emails all lined up. You sign up on our mailing list, you're going to get four years worth of emails. So if you sign up today, you'll probably get three to four years worth. Okay. So every time we do something, it's not wasted effort. But the idea is that we keep putting people into the mailing list <clears throat> and then we keep posting content out via that mail list, which might be just driving people back to the website, might be driving people to a webinar, not that we do webinars, but it might be something like that. You've got to keep your email list warm, you can't go cold, okay, so just holding emails is better than no emails. Just asking them, is there anything you can do for them, how's life? What's your biggest challenge right now? If you had a million quid today, what would you do with it? Anything, right? To try and get that email open, to try and get some level of engagement. So then when you do actually have something you want to sell them, when you email them, they're going to open the email and hopefully read the, the contents of that email. So email marketing is far from dead. It's a vital part of your social media, digital marketing strategy. But if you've not got implemented right now, you're definitely missing a trick. All right, I hope that's useful. Little, uh, not really a rant, was it? Anyway, good chat about email marketing. Um, we'll speak to you in the next one. Have a good day. Take care.